I would like to introduce one of our main guests for tonight, Ellen. We have prepared a small documentary about Ellen, uh, and right after that, uh, she will come up on the stage for a performance titled "Da Bo Kwa Do Junim" and "People Need the Lord." 오늘 메인 게스트 중 하나이신 엘렌 소개 영상이 있겠습니다. 그리고 곧이어 엘렌 퍼포먼스 나 무엇과 더 주님이라는 한국 찬양과 People Need the Lord 영어 찬양이 있겠습니다. <웃음> A full-time job at uh, what job? Um, hopefully, like the a government job. 김광숙, 엘렌의 한국 이름이다. 네살때 미국으로 입양될 당시 이미 그녀는 앞을 볼수 없었다. 1984년 일산의 시장에서 버려진 채 발견된 그녀는 곧 복지단체로 옮겨졌고 미국 볼티모어의 니콜스 부부에게 입양됐다. 마찬가지로 시각장애인이었던 니콜스 부부의 보살핌 아래 엘렌은 성인이 됐다. 30여 년 전부터 니콜스 씨는 시각장애를 가진 4명의 한국 아이를 입양했다. Their names are Kim, Mark, Ellen, and Sarah. And they are all adopted from Korea. They're all grown. I don't tell you this enough, but I love you. I love you very much. You're very special to me, and I appreciate uh, everything that you have done for me, and I really respect you.
Wow, that was an amazing performance. Uh, she truly has an angelic voice, doesn't she? How about a nice thumbs up in that comment section for that amazing performance? Uh, if you can't find it, just say amazing in the chat box. Chat box. Chat, chat back box. <laughs> what am I saying? Anyways, next we have. We can't let her go too soon. So we did have a prepper, uh, we prepared a Zoom interview with Ellen to know a little bit more about her. Uh, 정말 아름다운 퍼포먼스였습니다. 아, 다음 순서는 짧은 엘렌 인터뷰가 있겠습니다. I work at uh, a government hospital and medical center, triage, and uh, telecommunications manager. Um, a little over nine years now. Just recently, I've started um, recording because um, I, I write songs, and um, and so I would really love to to share God's love and power and healing um, through my music and and also use it. Um, to help uh, raise money for organizations like Mirar and uh, orphans, um, you know, to give back. I do, I, I practice, I try to practice every day, do my vocal exercises. Um, I, I do, I just, I sing all the time. I, there's always music in my head. Um, <laughs> my, my son uh, hates when I sing, well, he calls it opera. I, you know, I like to sing classically. Mm -hmm. um, he hates it, but hopefully one day he'll enjoy. Uh, he's 15 now. Well, his picture, they say, wow, he looks just like you. That is one of the mo most um, challenging uh, things in, in my life, at least. Uh, and, and also as a parent who is blind, um, I feel like I was, you know, kind of under the microscope, like people are always watching. Mm -hmm. And for someone with a disability, there people are always going to, um, to watch you and, you know, think that you need help. And um, uh, I would say just, um, just don't assume, um, ask, you know, how, how can I help you? You know, what, um, or is there anything that you need help with? Mm -hmm. um, and, and because everyone's different, you know, some person may need help with everything or a lot of things. Another person may not need help with as many. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, going on some family vacations mm -hmm. uh, together. Uh, there were some great, um, you know, times, family times that we had. So if I could, I would, I would want to see people's faces because so much um, communication mm -hmm. is done through the eyes, through expressions through eye contact, um, you know, my, uh, Ben and, uh, you know, my family and, and things like that, you know, COVID-19. Um, my mother is also ill, um, pray for God's healing. Um, you know, I, I want Ben to grow up to be a strong, you know, man of God. Mm -hmm. Um, of course, um, you know, of course, we all want our children to get a good education, a good job. Um, yes, thank you very much for having me. And it's a privilege to um, to work with Mirai. You know, I, um, I've been involved with them for such a long time. And they've, they've just, they're wonderful. And yeah, to the age of Shosol Kansamida, happy Thanksgiving. Thank you for that uh, interview. 